All right, y'all. This is my wife's 2016 Kia Optima. It has the oil consumption issue. About 99,000 miles is when we started noticing that it was using excessive oil because about 1,500 miles in, we had a check engine light, it went into limp mode. I checked the oil, it was like no oil in it. As you can see, as soon as I started it up, the oil check light is solid, which I'm taking is that low oil pressure. And then the check engine light is flashing because she told me yesterday that it was in limp mode and it would not go faster than 63 or so miles per hour. So I'm going to confirm the issue and then we will hook up the scan tool, see what air codes it gives. But basically, Kia is well aware of this oil consumption issue, but they will not do anything until the car has a audible knock. If the motor is not rod knocking, they will not replace the motor. They're not doing good faith replacements. The motor has to have a audible rod knock before they do any replacements so like i said the car has 152,984,000 miles on it uh the oil change at is due at 152,976 so it's actually about eight miles over the oil change but either way it goes it should not be using four three four quarts of oil in 5,000 miles all right so let's see what she got pedal to the floor it ain't going no more to oh my ankles are ashy it ain't going no more to the floor than that and you see how it's behaving i'm normally at 70 by this time and it's just creeping up just like i like like i don't have my foot and my ashy ankles to the ground All right, and at 63, yep, it falls on his face. Downhill. Is it gonna kick back in? Yeah, so I mean, that's that's all it got right there, like this. All the way down. So when we get back to the house, we'll hook up the, uh, the scan tool. We'll see what the codes are. I'm gonna see if I can read the oil pressure uh, through my scan tool through the diagnostics and then i'm just going to throw this uh, on my hard drive until the date that the motor rod knocks and then we'll go through the whole warranty process maybe we'll check the oil i'm sure it's nothing in it a court maybe word of advice if it's in limp mode don't put it in sport mode because sport mode is trying to override it's trying to override the rev limit i guess and if you put it in sport mode and you give it gas like I'm down to the floor so before it would go 63 in sport mode it's like 35 so don't put it in sport mode if you normally put it in sport mode if it's in limp mode because the car does not like it now if I put it in eco mode yeah eco mode is fine don't put it in sport mode because you will have a 35 max instead of 63 I don't know if y'all can hear that. And I think that's an audible knock. Is that coming up in the video? I won't know until I play it back. And now the car won't even stay started. Oh, we're turned off before. but it does have an audible knock. So, yeah, we'll continue on. Uh, I guess tomorrow, have it towed to the dealership. Probably not gonna make it on the highway going there. got quite a few codes here so exhaust camshaft presents in time and over advanced 
Severity two or three. Uh, coolant thermostat temp below thermostat regulating temperature. Hmm. Glow relay. Exhaust can sap position timer over advanced. Coolant thermostat glow relay. All right, so no low oil. Well, here she goes to the dealership. Good old AAA coming to the rescue. Cars here. So, and we're here at the dealership. So let's go see what they're talking about. See if we can get a rental car. Maybe a Stinger, maybe a Soul, maybe a K5, maybe a Sorento, maybe a Tell You Ride. Let's see what they put us in. All right, guys, so we got her back. So we dropped her off last Monday. It is this Monday, about three o'clock, and we have her back. So it took them roughly seven days to get the car up and going. When we dropped her off last Monday, uh, it was about 12 o'clock when the tow truck got there. And then by four o'clock, she had called us with the approval that it was going to be covered by warranty. Where is... And supposedly they swapped out the motor. Uh, but of course, like all the accessories and all that stuff was just swapped back over from the old motor. But supposedly it's supposed to be new. The motor itself is supposed to be brand new. Looks like a new valve cover. Uh, I mean, stuff looks new. It's probably the same exhaust manifold. I would assume it's going to be same you know ac compressor alternator it looks like it's a new water pump if that's the water pump looks like a new water pump uh, it looks like they didn't quite get stuff back together right i think i can see through that gap so i'll probably look over this and just make sure that everything is right you know everything is quiet as it should be it is not knocking or anything we paid nothing at all uh i have AAA, so i just used one of my AAA joints to get it uh towed there but if you pay for towing then they will reimburse you towing but everything is quiet whoop back your seat up Everything is quiet as it should be. Air condition works. Everything works. Everything is quiet. No knocking. No nothing. And uh, she did tell me that this car, this VIN number is where basically this VIN number on this car has a lifetime warranty. Freedom Motors. She said that the issue was resolved with these new motors and that we shouldn't have an issue again. But if we do have an issue again, and that air box cover lid is not closed on there. But if we, oh, that came right off. Um, but if we do have another motor issue, that it will be covered 100% by warranty. Yeah, I'm gonna go over this and check this because. This was about to come off. I see a gap there in the air box. So I'm going to go through and check all of this after the fact. But I mean, so far, everything seems to be fine. It was no cost to us. Uh, literally seven days when I dropped it off, I picked it up. They gave me the keys. I gave them the rental back. And that was it. So hopefully everybody's experience goes as smoothly as this. Like I said, this is June, 2024. I know during COVID they had like a backlog of cars getting fixed cause they couldn't get the motors in because of, you know, supposedly, you know, supply shortages and all that stuff. But yeah, hopefully if you have to go through this, uh, your experience was just as smooth and painless as ours was 
Uh, if not, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, leave your experiences in the comments below and let me know if yours was smooth like mine or if, you know, they had your car for two years and still waiting on the motor to get swapped in or if they tried to scam you and say you needed to pay for fluids or you needed to do this, that, the third or, you know, maybe you took your car to get the motor replaced and you're, you're from up north and, you know, your subframe was rusted so you needed a new subframe or something. So, Leave your comments below on what your experience was uh, or if you're going through it currently. And that's about it. So, you know, this is not my traditional video, but, you know, a review is a review. And Burlington Kia and Burlington, North Carolina did us solid. So, like everything you do, think, build, enjoy. Even though I didn't build anything, I didn't think of anything, but we are enjoying the new motor in our 2016 Kia Optima. I think it's the EX with the premium package, has the uh, panoramic and uh, Apple CarPlay and heated cool seats, heated rear seats, heated steering wheel, and all that fun stuff. So, peace.